During a recent appearance on the MMA Hour with Ariel Hawani, Robert Whitaker suggested that he was getting back to training camp and also noted that he was looking to fight some fresh blood that he hadn't faced before. Many fans and pundits took this as a hint which could have meant that he planned to face off against Marvin Vittori. Now, we know that the fight between the two is nearly booked. Ariel Hawani was the one who broke the news and the fight is nearly official. The middleweight clash will be added to UFC 275, which takes place June 11th. The second fight announced this week by Brett Okamoto is Chito Vera vs Rob Font. The two will headline UFC Fight Night on April 30th in a 5 round bout. What do you guys think about these matchups? Who do you think is going to win? Let us know in the comments section. In the main event of UFC 272, Colby Covington dominated Jorge Masvidal en route to a unanimous decision win, sweeping two of the judges' scorecards in the process. Gamebred suffered an accidental poke in the eye by Covington in the first round that was missed by referee Herb Dean. On Thursday, Masvidal took to social media to provide an update on his eye while also sending a message to Covington. He posted this photo and wrote, Almost took eyes out, but all good, you cheating f**k. See you soon. Conor McGregor is steadily getting back into shape as he recovers from the leg injury he sustained during the main event of UFC 264. The Irishman showcased his bread and butter boxing in a video he uploaded to Instagram. Here's the clip. McGregor started boxing again a couple of days ago and gave a positive report on his progress so far as he looks to put the injury behind him. In a recent Instagram post, he wrote, Day 3 back, boxing without issue. Soon, this injury will be a distant memory on my martial arts journey. No one has a road without bumps, but winning is about a positive attitude and determination and hard work. I am back and only getting better. Shortly after, Tahuto took to Twitter to take a shot at McGregor. He tweeted, Your hands are down and your distance is off. Stay away from them, yes men. Just a tip from the GOAT. McGregor fired back by finding a tweet from Tahuto saying Notorious walks his talk, hashtag greatest of all time, and wrote, Fat midget novice, lick ours for press. Over Twitter, Hamzat Chimaev took aim at Kamaru Usman by commenting on an article about Ali Abdelaziz's bold claims. In the aforementioned story, Abdelaziz claimed that Usman would knock out Alvarez should they meet in the ring. Hamzat simply responded by posting a facepalm emoji in the replies. Chimaev also posted a video of Usman swinging wildly at Jorge Masvidal and missing his target. Hamzat's post came with a caption, He's a good boxer, laughing emotes. Friday, March 11th, Khabib's Eagle FC 46 event takes place and has some interesting matchups. The main event features two UFC veterans competing at 165 pounds as Kevin Lee and Diego Sanchez collide. During yesterday's weigh-ins, the two had an intense face-off as both fighters look ready to do battle. Here's a clip from the weigh-in. 163.2 for Sanchez. 
The official weight, 165.8 for the Motown Phenom, Kevin Lee. There you go, three Pacific time. In the co-main event, another ex-UFC roster member will be in action as Anthony Hamilton takes on Rizvan Kuniev at heavyweight. 264.8 for Anthony Freight Train Hamilton. 264. The official weight, 265 for the champion, Rizvan Kuniev. 260. It is Kuniev and Hamilton for the Eagle FC Heavyweight Championship, the co-main event of Eagle FC 46. And before the two giants battle it out at heavyweight, former UFC flyweight title challenger Ray Borg will face ex-Bellator bantamweight contender Ricky Bendejas. The bout will take place at 135 pounds. 135.8 for Bandejas. 135.8 for Ricky Bandejas. 135.6 for Ray Borg. 135.6 for Borg. It is Borg and Bandejas matching up tomorrow night. Eagle FC 46 from the FlexCast Arena here in Miami. Here's Eagle FC 46's full lineup. Former UFC bantamweight title contender Marlon Moraes has suffered three TKO losses in a row to Corey Sandhagen, Rob Font, and Marab Dvalishvili. Now he will be looking to get back on the win column this weekend at UFC on ESPN Plus 61 against Song Yadong. Speaking to UFC News a few days ahead of the bout, Moraes discussed coming back from three losses in a row and shared his thoughts on his next opponent. Here's the clip. Not easy to overcome a bad moment, you know, but I've been in a worse spot before and it's just a matter of reset, you know, and face it, you know, the fighting business is a hard business and when you step in, you got to be ready for anything. Yeah, of course, we, we always have to make changes when things don't go our way and the main thing for me this this fighting camp was uh, take a, a, a time with myself and give all, all to myself, you know, the timing, and I travel for training, and, and it, it worked out great, you know, I feel great, and let's go. I feel I feel good, you know, uh, to be honest, uh, I felt good too, no other fights, but and let's live, let's live the now, I feel better than ever. He's a very good fighter, you know, talent, young guy, and he got a lot of weapons, and we're gonna match up Saturday night, and I got my weapons, and I'm ready for it. The fight's gonna be an MMA fight, you know. He's gonna chase for me. He's gonna try <laughs> take my head off. I'm gonna try to take his head off. And I believe it's gonna be a very good fight, very entertaining, and I'm ready to take it. I wanna put on the best performance I ever had it, and to date, and that's how I train for, and that's what I'm doing. Here are the top three memes you guys posted on MMAMemes.com. In third place is a meme posted by user MST. Second place goes to Chuck Norris. And the number one voted meme was posted by a user named Dana White. If you want your meme to be included in our next video, go to MMAMemes.com and create your own meme. The top three memes will be placed at the end of our video. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with the latest MMA news.